in this question, we're given a bunch of data. They do give us a best fit line, but we're gonna go ahead and compute that ourselves. So copy all the data, paste it. It's already selected, insert, charts, scatter, plus trend line arrow, more options, display equation and R squared, and grab that and move that over. All right, I don't wanna grab the formatting of this here because it's gonna be some weird gray stuff. So I copied it. When I paste it, I'm gonna right click for pasting, um, match destination formatting right here. And it should not have that weird gray uh, font and, and centered. So it'll look a bit better. So we have our trend line here. Now, the one that's up here is rounded and it may have been computed a slightly different uh, algorithm, but we're gonna use the one that we have in Excel. All right, profit in 1983. Here's where it gets a little tricky. Notice none of the X values are even close to 1983. So what's going on? All right, this is X is how many years after 1980? So how many years after 1980 is 1983? This is pretty easy math to do. Uh, you could, if it's a bit more tricky, I'm just, this is a bit overkill here. Uh, I'm gonna do 1983 minus 1980. So this is end minus start. So the year we want is 1983. The starting year is 1980. In between is three years. You probably already knew that, but your question may have numbers that aren't quite as nice, like maybe 1975, um, and this one might be 1993. And uh, just to be safe, I recommend just subtract them. Uh, no reason to rely on your subtraction for this to work. Now, there is a three in the chart. There is a Y value in the chart, but we're gonna use our line right here to compute it. So here's our X value of three equals, uh, I'm gonna, uh-oh. I'm going to copy everything from the equal sign, not the Y part, but everything after the Y. Remember, you have to go multiply by that value. So here we go. I'm going to hit enter. 13.1502, round to the nearest cent. 13.15. There we go. So it's close to that, but remember there is, if you looked at this chart, uh, there is some randomness here. Uh, it's not everything right on the line. So I think that value right there would have been the actual point there. Oh, that's pretty neat. I wonder what this does. Oh, I can't. All right, I should have figured this out before, but anyways, maybe you can do some cool stuff here. All right, so hopefully that made sense. Uh, just be careful uh, because of the scale.